This is a download from the BBC. For more information, go to bbc.co.uk slash radio1. Radio 1 Podcast. The Scott Mills Daily. Radio 1. Right, where are you now, Laura? I'm outside a supermarket at the moment. This is because earlier today I was quite annoyed by somebody eating food in the supermarket before they bought it. It so winds me up. Really got you going, didn't it? Really oh, got you angry. Just buy it and then take it home and eat it. It's just rude. I think you're getting yourself worked up about nothing. But yeah. I just think it's wrong. Okay. Laura, however, and you think it's perfectly acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to see how far you can go before it becomes completely unacceptable. Laura, you're outside the supermarket, right? Yeah. I'd like you to walk in, if you could. Okay, hang on. Now, we've chosen a few things to put in Laura's basket. Let me know when you're ready to go wild in the aisles. Okay, hang on. We'll make you do a trolley dash as well. (laughs) Right, I'm going in now. Okay. Okay. You in? Yeah. Okay, Laura. Yeah. I've got a few things that you need to pick up from the supermarket, all right? Okay. Here's your shopping list. Right. I'm going to play a record, and if you can get them while I play the record. Okay. Okay, uh, some milk. Right. Any cereal of your choosing. Yeah. Preferably one with a free gift. Yeah. Um, some bread. Uh huh. Some cheese. Yeah. Some ham. Yeah. And some ketchup. Ketchup. All, all right. right. Milk, yeah. cereal, cheese, ham, bread, ketchup. I, I don't think. I don't think we should go with ketchup. I want ketchup. You want ketchup, all right? Okay. I'll leave it with you, Laura. All right then. Also, Laura, get yourself a drink as well because you must be thirsty. Yeah, I am. Yeah. All right. All right. Get yourself a drink now. I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay. Speak in a minute. Bye. Radio One. All Saints are here. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Um, now, how long have you been back together now? Uh, we've been together just over a year now, as far as, uh, yeah, as far as, the, out for over a year. Over a year. The first, the first day she, Mel and I, we kind of kindled our love affair. It was, um, the end of August, so just over a year. It's been okay. beautiful. It's been very romantic. A long honeymoon. And you kind of getting on all right these days? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no fallouts. Not yet. No. Not yet. Because <laughs> it's all surely it's all part of being in a group, isn't it? The fallouts. Because it's like this with me and Chappers, isn't it? It's all part of working together, isn't it? Very Are much. You guys so. in a band? No, oh, we're not. We just God, no. God, we just work together just, every day. You don't argue at all. Uh, well, what happens normally is, um, well, in fact, most of Radio One is like that. You know, your dream combination for the public, but yeah. behind the scenes, we can't can't other. actually stick each other no. at all. Um, I mean, d- do you find that these days when you walk out the door today, will you get in separate cars and not speak to each other until your next public appearance or what? Oh, it was so nice because today we were actually all in the car together and it was lovely. Was it? Yeah. Oh, so you do get on? Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so you're coming to Brighton on Sunday, part of our top lineup for the Chart Show Live. Now, we were thinking of doing this thing um, that worked really well at the Brits last year where we say to all the other acts backstage, have you heard what Nelly Vitardo has been saying about you? And it all goes off. We did it with Katie Mellower. Nelly Vitardo would never say anything bad about anyone. <laughs> well, you say that. But what Are you about sure if we, we should do this again? <laughs> Why not? That, well, we didn't yeah, but don't be bitchy because we'll beat you with our bitchiness back. Okay. Oh my god, you have to beat us with your bitchiness and our bitchiness is more. We're like triple bass. Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Mellower nearly sued us when we did that. <laughs> yeah, she did nearly sued us, yeah. Um, now, wonder. can I just ask, it's been a while, has all this kind of pop luck changed <laughs> since you were since you were last around? Yeah, well, there's, since, since we haven't since we haven't been around, it's obviously noticeable to us. There's a lot of internet, a lot of downloading, a lot of that kind of technical stuff. Which you make I'm it still, sound like it's about 1974. But I feel like, yeah. like I still live in 1974. It's a lot cooler, trust me, than being now. And um, <laughs> no, I still don't get it. I've just found out about this whole thing here, looking at an angry cat. We won't mention names on the website in case I'm not allowed. But yes, I, I, I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing that, but... Well, you've just discovered the internet. Well, yeah. YouTube. Oh, okay, YouTube, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, there's an angry cat on it that I wanted to play you in a minute. Okay. I tried to do that. But, um, no, that's the kind of stuff we do and maybe shop. But otherwise, the whole downloading stuff is is so, like, the Jetsons to us. Because <laughs> McFly weren't even born last time you were out, were they? <laughs> No, but that's you know, 
Thank you. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm You're joking. a big bitch. <laughs> He's nothing to do with me. I'm I just joking. Like Scott Mills. Are you into the um, rock and roll lifestyle still, or are you like me in these days, quite happy with an early night in front of hard? It's all about yeah. water yeah. and yoga. Is we it? are rock and roll stars that never went to the Priory. Is yeah. that make? Is that cool? Yeah. Do you watch Prime Suspect? Priory Suspect. Prime Suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Mirren. We're we obsessed with Prime Suspect Hotmail? and Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Prime Suspect. It's amazing. We love no, it. We Heartbeat. Just... Heartbeat. Where Mine the... still does. It's fine. Where the heart is. And What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> No, I used to be in clubs until 8am, I've What are you doing back there anyway? We can't even see you. Did you used to watch News Round? Yes. Thank you. It's still on. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, there you Every go. Day. You still watch News it's Round. It's on now, in fact. Scott Mills still watch News Round. <laughs> now, um, on Sunday, will you be doing like a mix of old stuff and new stuff? What, what, what's, yeah. what's the score? What's going to happen? Both, Scott. Both. Okay. Now, can you remember the beginning of Never Ever? Yes, I can. Okay. Could you do it for us now? Yes, I can. All the way through. A few questions that I need to know. How you could ever hurt me so. I need to know what I've done wrong and how long it's been going on. Mm. Was it that I never paid enough attention? Or did I not give enough affection? No, is this live? Yeah. I almost swore. No. Not only will your answers keep me sane, but I'll know never to make the same mistakes again. You can mm. tell me to my face or even on the phone. Go on, you can write it in a letter. Yeah. Either way, I have to know. No. I want you to do the rest. Go on. Oh, I can't remember the next bit. Help me, help me. No, blatantly not. Blatantly help me. Say blatantly. blatantly help me. With your tongue right out. Blatantly. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't remember where we were now. Now, do the words come flooding back to all the songs or do you have to actually revise them? Flooding like Niagara Falls. Do they? <laughs> so all of them. Like blatantly Niagara Falls. Blatantly. Right, okay, listen. Um, if you call now at 08700 100 100, you could be seeing these girls along with another top pop acts. Or, or a night out with Scott Mills, if you're lucky. Yeah. In Brighton in, in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good idea. What a surprise that would be. Oh, wait, 700, 100, 100. Trust me, he'd do it. Radio 1 Podcast. The Scott Mills Daily. All right, Laura. Hiya. Right, have you got what I need? Yeah, I've got um, cereal, milk, a drink for myself, some cheese, uh, ham, bread and some ketchup. Squeezy. I hate it when people eat stuff or drink stuff in supermarkets. So we're going to see how far we can take that today. Mm -hmm. You're weird. You think it's all right? I, I think, think, I, I think, I think there's not. no problem with it whatsoever. All right, Laura. Yeah. If you look in your bag, yeah, we've packed something quite special in there for you. Right. Okay, have a look. <laughs> it's a, a tartan like blanket. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely. And some um, like plastic crockery. That's right. <laughs> it's time for a supermarket picnic. <laughs> <laughs> right. So if you just picture the scene, Laura is in the middle of a busy supermarket. Are, are you in an aisle or are you at, at the end of an aisle? I'm at the end of an aisle. Okay, right. She has with her some milk, some cereal, some bread, some cheese, some ham and some ketchup in a basket. And also, in the bag we've given her, some cutlery and a lovely tartan rug. Yeah. Now, I'd like you to sit yourself down on the floor of the supermarket. Okay. Make yourself comfy. Okay. <laughs> right. On the rug. On the rug. Hang on. I've got to flick it out. That's right, lay it out nice and flat. Make yourself comfy. Right, okay. What aisle are you in, or the end of the aisle? Um, I'm at the end of aisle one and two, mm. uh, near the cordial. And Anybody looking around? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, um, maybe, have, start off by having some drink. Okay. Have a sip of your drink. Okay. <sighs> yep. Nice, was that refreshing? Yeah. What drink is it? Um, just some water, Scott, because I'm, okay. I'm watching my figure. Yeah. Very yeah. healthy. Yeah. Maybe ask some people around you if they'd like to try some water. Okay. Excuse me, do you need any water? Are you okay? <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to dehydrate. <laughs> hey, remember, Laura, if you were single, it's a great place to pull a supermarket. Oh, yeah. You could wine and dine someone on the rug. <laughs> a romantic meal for two at yeah. the top of aisle one by right. the cordial. How do you fancy some cereal now? Yeah? Yeah, open up the packet. Okay. <laughs> Is there a free gift in there? Yeah, it's some kind of like car thing. Okay. Now, is there a plastic lining inside the cereal box? Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do, no need for a bowl, is uh, just get your milk. Yeah. And pour it into the cereal box. 
<laughs> hey, presto. You're ready milk made. And cereal. Cereal milk. Why too. do people use a bowl? I don't know. <sighs> okay. okay. Just pour the milk in. Hang on, I'm just need to open it. All of it? Well, as much well, as you feel necessary. Yeah. There you go, it's got all gone in there. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's not leaking out, is it? No. Good. And then just have a bit of cereal. Hey, can you hear it crackling? Mmm. <laughs> what is the free gift? It's a car. It's a car, wow. Did, did you get that out before you poured the milk in? Oh, it's leaking now. No, 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 forget it. Did, importantly, did you get the free gift out before you put the milk in? No. Oh, oh rubbish. Oh. <laughs> I wanted that. Right, so the cereal box is leaking a little bit, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right. Are you eating the cereal? Yeah. Excellent. Have some more. Is there anybody around you at the moment? Yeah. All right. What are they thinking, do you think? I don't know. There's a guy putting more juice on the shelf. He's not, <laughs> but they're not, they're not doing anything. No, he clearly works here, and he's fine with me doing it. Yeah, this probably happens all the time. Yeah. All right. See, so have you had enough cereal now? Do you think? Yeah, I'm sick of yeah, that. Yeah, bored of that. Okay, Laura. Yeah. Get the bread. Yeah. Get out a couple of slices. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I want you to put the cheese and ham on one slice of the bread. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then maybe go and ask the person that works there that you can see where you can get some pickle. Okay. What kind of cheese have you gone for? Uh, a mature English white cheddar. Oh, very yeah. nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, I've just put some ham on. See, I thought you'd gone wrong with the ketchup, Scott. You don't you don't want ketchup on that side. I'm going to try and find some pickle. <laughs> Remember to ask the people that work there. That's what they're there for. Okay. To help. Okay. I bet they don't know which are the pickles. They never do. Excuse me. Do you know where I can find some pickle? <laughs> oh, that's wicked. Thank you. Has <laughs> nobody battered an eyelid at the moment? No, not at all. I'm walking around with a half-made sandwich in my hand. So you have a slice of bread in your hand with ham and cheese on it, <laughs> and you just <laughs> ask somebody who works there where you can get pickle for the sandwich? Yeah. And they just told you? Yeah. Right, okay. Well, make a sandwich. Oh, oh I heard it pop, though. A bit tough to open. <laughs> they can be, can't they? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Ah. Oh. Got a bit on the floor. <laughs> there you go. Radio One Podcast. The Scott Mills Daily. We like that one, don't oh, we? I love it. I yeah. Sugar babes. Liam, what do you think? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was Sugar Babes and Easy on Radio 1. It's 5.28. Now, Nicole, uh, off of All Saints, has just discovered the okay, internet. Wait, this is for everyone who has a hangover out there. And Ooh, she wants, that, to, that means she wants us. to play us yeah, something yeah. off the <laughs> internet. I said when I saw Scott. Ready, Go. everybody? <laughs> what does it say? Ready, can you hear right. it? I want everybody to meet Burger and Fries. <laughs> No, I can hear it. I can see it. Look, look, look. Wait, it's just a... Oh. It's got the ears. They're so fun. I am pretty. That's the most evil cat in the world. Yeah. That is, that's, that's the... That's uh, everything from. That's on YouTube, and it's called Very Angry Cat, if you'd like to <laughs> check it out. <laughs> no, 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 I've got some... I, no, not that I agree with it, because obviously the cat's very frightened, and I don't like it being very frightened, but the noise, sometimes... <laughs> It speaks my language. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I felt. It takes on the same level. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've got uh, some listeners' questions. Paul and Lester, what music are you all liking at the moment? Amy Winehouse. Nas Barkley. Mm -hmm. Wolf. Body Rocks. Wolf Freddie Wolf Legrand. Mother. Wolf, Wolf Mother, Mother, Nick. Yes. Justin's new album's good. Justin. Yeah. yeah. Do you like Sugar Justin? Sugar Babes. Sugar Babes Sugar is good. Sugar Babes. Yeah. Girls right. Aloud. Uh, Martin and Colchester. <laughs> Okay, this is something we did earlier. Do you do you ever do? Why that are you guys laughing at that? What? What's that You're laughing. That? I'm not <laughs> laughing. No, no. no. Mel's serious. Just, Mel's lost it now. No, Mel lost it. <laughs> contact lens. <Yeah. laughs> um, Martin and Kelsha says uh, this is something we were doing earlier. Do you ever eat food in the supermarket before paying? We for never it? eat food. 
Emma, <laughs> it's not fashionable. I mean, no, honestly, we, we, I would love to. I, I have to hold myself back. I bring a microwave for the ready-made meals. <laughs> <laughs> I do hold myself um, back. Sometimes my husband will have the occasional grape, and I get angry at him. <laughs> so Liam wants me pay for it, damn it. I get embarrassed. No, I bring my microwave. No, lighter. I bring my microwave and put it in before I check out. And a kettle. Um, and finally, Carmen in Cardiff says, what are each of yours most annoying habits? Only each person has to answer for a different member of the band. Okay. I'll go first. Easy. Mel picks her fingernails. Uh-huh. Um, I'll go second. Um, Mel picks her fingernails. Shazna, she's always late. Right. Oh. Actually, you were, late. Yeah. <laughs> you were late today. <laughs> That's true. Proof. Yes. Witnesses and proof. Witnesses. All right. This. I just don't happen to have any. Oh, I digress. It's Nick. <laughs> I don't, don't have, have any. any annoying habits. <laughs> Do I, Christians? Nah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, girls, thank you for coming in today. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday at the Shark Show live in Brighton. Looking forward we to it? We can't wait. Yeah. Right, good. I'll see you there. Okay, bye. 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 Scott Mills. Radio 1. So Laura is now in the supermarket making a sandwich. Mm. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. Are you, are you complete? Is nobody at all doing anything? No. I just got this image of her just in this massive picnic rug. <laughs> Some cereal that's leaking out of a box because of milk being poured in. <laughs> now a sandwich. Right, this isn't working, is it, Laura? No. Right, can you maybe find somebody else that works there? Mm. Um, get a bottle of wine. Yeah. Right, and then ask them if they've got a bottle opener. Okay. We're gonna have to up the ante here a bit because this is not working. Okay. Excuse me. So you don't have a bottle opener, do you? I'm afraid not. No. no. Okay. Sorry. You have to get a screw top then. A screw top. Yeah. Oh. It's a nice one. You got some? Yeah. Very I can't ci- believe it's it. It's a very civilised meal though, isn't it? A nice cheese, ham and pickle sandwich and a glass of wine. They said there's no glasses, she's just drinking out of a bottle, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Surely someone's going to come along in a minute. Are you having the wine now? <laughs> Indeed. Out of the bottle? Mm-hmm. I'm really surprised, but I think I have to admit defeat here. Mm. Yeah. You can have a full-scale banquet in the middle of the aisle of a supermarket. Yeah. On a tartan rug, eating cereal, sandwiches, and quaffing wine. Mm. See, I told you that as long as you don't actually walk out the store with the food, as long as you pay for it, they don't care. It does seem that way, doesn't it? You can just eat whatever you want in the supermarket, pay quaff the end. wine, they don't care. As long as you pay for it. Okay, Laura, now just walk out of the supermarket. Let's see how far you get. No! <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> Alright then, go and pay for the goods. <laughs> okay. I can't believe that, I really can't. I tried to tell you, you should listen to me more. <laughs> Alright, come back, Laura. All right. Radio 1 Podcast. The Spot Mills Daily. And breathe. And breathe. So that was All Saints. Do you know what? It's been, well, oh, I don't know, what, 99? Probably the last time I mm. interviewed them. I forgot what Hurricane All Saints was like. En masse. <laughs> mm. Right, let's all take a moment to just breathe and relax. Oh, it's like the end of a party. All all that's left is a uh, is a bottle of champagne. There's a little bit left in the bottom. You look like you could do with that. All of that. You finished the champagne. Mm. So that was all Saints. <laughs> And they'll be at Radio 1's chart show live in Brighton. Actually, can I have a bit as well? Actually, yeah. <laughs> I think I think we <laughs> both need it. Let's all have a bit. Thanks. Yeah, they'll be there on Sunday. Too much Pino Griglio. I think you might be right, half. <laughs> National Radio, Radio 1. 1. This is a download from the BBC. For more information, go to bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. Radio 1.